Hey everybody, welcome to another Player Unknowns Battlegrounds video. Today we are playing solos once again. And yeah, we're gonna go try for a high kill game. Usually I get wins, but they're not super impressive. So today we're gonna try to go for a good one. And we are landing at military base. So recently I've been loving landing here. I don't know. I think it's. I'm really starting to like fighting. I used to just hide all the time. Now I'm really trying to kind of play aggressive. So military base has been a lot of fun to go to. Okay, and we're gonna drop down to these three little sheds right here. Now, a little bit of backstory. If I land at military, it's always at these three sheds. Don't ask why. It's just I've always I've always done it. It's just some a habit that I can't break. So. Yeah, but I mean, they usually give me a gun. Most of them al almost always have guns. Now, the only problem this time, we have another person landing with us. So this makes things a little bit more difficult. So what I would usually do is land at the last one and then kind of loot them one by one. But since there is a guy in the third one, and there wasn't a gun in the second one. But the first one does have an M16, which is good. And we gotta make sure he doesn't surprise. And there's a dude. I'm probably gonna whip on my shots, but oh. No. Okay, I have one more bullet. This bullet has to kill him. Bam! <laughs> that last bullet killed him. So we got uh really lucky. I almost whiffed <laughs> all of my shots. That was so bad of me. But it's okay. Now, the only problem is not we are we are kind of out of ammo, so all we have is this revolver, which doesn't fare very well. Okay, so we're going to try something risky and actually keep looting. And there's a guy up there. Let's see if I can hit him. Nah, I don't think so. But we're going to try something risky and keep looting. Uh, Go big or go home, right? So let's see what we can find here. There is a guy right there. Boom, boom, dead. Whew, we did it. We actually got a kill with the revolver. That's busted. This The, the gun is broken. All right, so let's lay down see what we got. Red dot sight, good, good. Shotgun. We already have one, though. Actually, ooh, the SKS. You know what? Let's, let's pick up the SKS. And my dog just, like, jumped off the bed. Okay, so let's replace that M4. Let's reload our guns. I don't think anyone's going to walk by here. Kind of like a random spot, too. So I don't think anyone will. But yeah, I think we're going to stick with the SKS and an assault rifle. That'll be our kind of kit for the game. Shotguns have been really good. But I'm, I'm feeling sniping this game. So I think we'll replace the shotgun for this one game. Okay, so the circle is pretty far north. So we're gonna have to head up there, and a cheek pad. That's really good, actually. That'll kind of stabilize our aim a little bit. Yeah, and a second red dot set. I guess we'll put that on the SKS for now because we don't really have a scope. And two med kits. You gotta be kidding me. That's crazy. I mean, I'll gladly take it though. Okay, so this is gonna be dangerous. We're gonna have to run pretty much through an open field. I guess we'll see how this goes. All right, so let's take this buggy and get out of here. We got to go a good ways up, so yeah, it's a good thing we found a car. Okay, we've made it here to the ocean. I'm trying to, well, not an ocean, <laughs> like a little river, but I'm trying to look for a boat. Doesn't seem to be one. I know there's a boat over there, but it's currently moving, meaning there's somebody inside of it. Meaning I can't get to it, sadly. And it looks like a boat just spawned. How crazy is that? Yeah, for some reason, vehicles in this game tend to spawn super late. For some reason. Yeah, we're just gonna kind of throw our buggy into the water. It doesn't really matter, to be honest. And, yeah. Finding the place to get in the boat isn't easy. So I guess we'll just shore right here. And just like how we did with the buggy, we're just gonna... Put this boy on land now the only problem with doing that is i can't get the boat back but there's going to be no reason to go back so it's whatever it's a way to get to land faster now there might be someone in these buildings 
There was a boat right there. It could have been a natural spawn, but it also could have been somebody, and I just heard a shot. That was another person. I'm going to look behind me just in case, but I'm pretty sure they're in these houses somewhere. Okay, so, from my professional investigation skills, I've kind of come to the conclusion that he's in one of these two barns, either the front one or the back one. And he might have ran out, maybe. I don't know the chances of that. And there's some AK ammo, so I will pick that up. There he is. How you doing? I don't know if he saw me. I think he did. Yeah, he saw me. But he didn't even land a single shot on me. XX Dead Scope XX. I don't feel bad for killing him anymore. With that kind of name, it's hard to feel bad. But, uh, yeah, that was a pretty clean kill. Okay, I think we're pretty much done here. So we can keep moving towards the middle. Okay, so, so far, the journey towards the middle has been pretty peaceful. It's been a couple minutes and uh, pretty much nothing so far. So I guess that's good and bad. I want some more loot and kills, but I guess we're safe. Okay, so there's a crate right there. Now, I need to go past it because I need to get towards where I'm going. Hopefully there's no one around here just kind of baiting it. I guess we'll see. Maybe there's something good in there for us. Chances, probably not. Yeah, it's empty. Yeah, it's been looted, so... Yeah, there's no reason to pretty much stick. So let's keep going. There's probably someone around. There are shots over here. Now, I see one guy over there that just ran into those houses. Okay, so I see there's a guy over there at the fence. Now, my biggest decision here is whether I want to get involved in this fight. If I get involved, I... I'm not going to get out of it too easily. It's pretty much a house surrounded by fields. But I think I'm just going to get involved. They don't know I'm here. If I could pick off one of them, I'll probably be able to pick off the second. Let's get a nade. If he's still, if he's like right there, I want to nade him out. And for all he knows, the other guy naded him. He doesn't know I'm here, so. Problem is, there's other cars joining us. There's actually two. <laughs> there's a car chase. And hopefully they just don't stop for me. Now it looks like they're interested in their own. In their own ordeals. Where are these guys? I don't know if he's... And he's right there. Dead. Uh, I sprayed a little bit. A lot of whiffed shots, but... I killed him. Now, there's a blue car still running around. That was a grenade. So, I'm not going to play games here. I'm not going to take... I'm just going to med kit, get fully back up, and then we'll continue with our business. I don't feel like having some dude rush me. We do need some more AK ammo soon. We're we're gonna go back to that guy and loot him for sure. I I'm gonna need his items. Guess we'll check what this guy has. Doesn't have too much, but he does have some ammo. So I guess we'll take that. And I want to loot this guy, but we do got to be careful about it. So it looks like that buggy just started driving it. We're still in the zone, so we're good. If you look down on the minimap, the white line is curved towards us, meaning we're inside of the circle. Okay, so he's got some healing items, which is good. I'll take all of those. He had a scope, which I'll take. Uh, level 3 helmet. And that's pretty much it. He didn't have any AK ammo. He had a lot of M4. I've seen a lot of M4s this game, but I refuse to pick any of them up. So I guess I'm paying for that a little bit. But let's go ahead and put that scope on the SKS and get rid of the red dot. We're not going to need that anymore. So let's keep moving on. Yeah, we made it out safe. We got involved in the fight, but we ended up getting the guy. Which I almost died from, I'm not going to lie. I, my spray was a little bit off, but we we did it. So this is the circle. This is kind of an awkward circle. Uh, most of the people are going to be up north coming down from that town. 
it's a little bit good for us, but I hear cars around me. I gotta make sure I don't get run over. So there's a car. I'm gonna take shots at him. Hit him once. Hmm. Okay, I hit him once. Couldn't hit him a second. I wish I had a better scope, but two times scope isn't very good, to be honest. Okay, so there's a buggy right there, but it doesn't look like it's very interested in me. But I will take this pan. I can cook up some eggs. And I lied. It is interested in me. Stopped. Let's see what we can do about it. So I see him. It's by that tree. <laughs> oh, he hit him once, but whoo! Whatever he has, I think it's a car. It shot me pretty good. Uh, so I don't think that's a good idea to challenge him. Unless I want to die. So yeah, uh, I'm going to try to escape. I think my way of escape is running through the field behind me. His line of sight of me will be blocked by the house. I think we should just get going here. And hopefully he doesn't follow. That would be good. It looks like he backed off. No, he didn't actually. Uh, what? I don't know what this guy's doing actually. But I think we should go. Maybe, maybe I should take my own advice and not, not stick around right now. Hopefully he doesn't shoot me in the back. So it looks like this game will be a field ending, which is... Ugh. Can be good or bad. It's very, like, RNG-based, depending on, like, what, what happens in the circles. You could be either screwed or get lucky. But I think we're going to go over here. I think there's a blue crate over there. I think we're gonna hide in that. There are some shots to the right. Yeah, I think we're gonna go. Hopefully, there's no one in the house. If there's someone in the house, they should have shot me by now. That's why I'm kind of feeling optimistic. But we're gonna go hide in this blue crate. And hopefully, no one disturbs us for a little bit. Okay, so we're going to have to move in about 40 seconds. There are 13 people alive left. The good thing is we don't have to move that far. If you look at the mini-map, the circle isn't that far away. Now, the only problem is we're right next to that town that I was talking about. So we really got to be careful of people coming out of that town. Now, the circle pretty much got most of the town, but there are a couple of those small buildings that people can hide in, which I can guarantee you there are people there right now. So, I would... I'm going to wait a little bit to run out because I know there's going to be people running this way soon. And it's so close, you could literally walk two steps outside. So, we're going to wait a little bit. Okay, so... I'm going to move here in a bit. But if there's anyone coming, it should come out about now. Okay, we missed pretty much all our shots. But we got to kill him because right now we we can't go anywhere with this guy. So we have to kill him. Before we do absolutely anything, he needs to die. There he is. So, uh, we, there's an 8x scope. I'm taking damage. We need to. What we need to do is. Oh, this is so good. Look at this. It's just a, a perfect little crevice for us to sit in. What we need to do is heal up. We're gonna go back. We're gonna grab his stuff because I need his stuff. But we're gonna heal up real quick. But guys, look at this. This is the perfect little crevice for me to hide and heal behind. So to get inside of the circle, we need to move forward. So we're gonna drop some of this because we're carrying too much. We don't need this many kits. Well, we're going to run back, try to grab some of his ammo and tools, but wow, this damp circle is damaging. We're going to take those, we're going to take the 8x scope, we're going to take that level 3 bag, the 2 helmet, and grab some of his ammo. He had a car, but it's a little too late. We need to go, 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 go. Bam, made it out of the circle. Let's sit down. 
use one of the first aid kits, heal back up. That's what I'm telling you guys right there. If we would have grabbed that car, I'm pretty sure we would have died. So, yeah, let's go ahead and boost up. We got about 30 seconds. By the time we end up getting boosted and attaching stuff, we're pretty much going to have to go here. So let's get our AK in hand in case we get into any close range encounters. Now, I do got to remember that they could be hiding in any of these grasses. In this game, the one thing that really sucks about it is the proning is pretty much broken. You could prone on this grass and not be seen at all. So I need to be careful about that. There could be anyone in any of the grass. There are eight people alive. The circle is pretty darn close. Now, the only problem is there's buildings over there that I'm pretty sure everybody's at. I'm probably one of the only ones in the field meaning there's got to there's probably at least one other person in the field so it's me and him out in the open against people with houses this is not good there's got to be a guy to our right which there is because i hear bullets now we're gonna have to try to get to a house i think our best bet right now is to not get involved there's a guy over there i'm gonna have to kill him he died outside of the play zone i think I don't know. Either way, I need to... I am out in the open. This is not a good strategy. There's going to be a guy looking for me. I need to get to that hut. Right there. There's a hut right there. Oh, and I'm already getting hit. Uh, there, There's a guy to our right. There's one guy to our right at the hut. There is a guy out in the open field. See, but once again, this grass... He can't see me right now. That's why this game is kind of little bit broken but the zone is at the other side so to get to the new zone we're gonna have to get through this guy at the hut but the other guy in the field does know where the guy in the hut is there are three left i think there is one in the field one at the hut and one where i am okay he got a few if, the, if there's a dude at the hut i'm gonna die okay <gasps> okay it looks like the dude at the hut actually got shot so that's good that'll give us 30 seconds to heal up. we need to heal up now so there is what two other people in the field I think this is the only building so I'm in the only building there's two other people in the field so we have just enough time to heal up but the only problem is the guy in the field does have the advantage of being inside the circle so we're gonna boost up and we gotta get going pretty much right away if we don't want to take super heavy damage uh, see what we can take from him um... okay uh, we're gonna have to shoot the guy Oh, he got a good shot off on me. All right, he's dead. Uh, we're super low health, but... Okay, there's the guy. Please miss. He missed. Yes. Good. He whiffed. That gives... Oh, that's perfect. Please miss. Oh, he missed again. What? Oh, awesome. All right, we need to heal. We need to heal right now. This is good, guys. This is good. The circle, we're fine. We have time to heal up. The only thing that could screw us up is if he has a grenade. Hopefully, he misses. Okay, and there's the grenade, just as I say it. Oh, and that is a stun grenade. That that does nothing, mate. Okay, let's see if we can get... That was a terrible nade. But I don't want to get shot because... Let's just kind of throw nades, see what we can do. He does have one of the snipers that comes from the crates. If I get shot by that, I'm dead. I, My helmet's almost gone, my armor's almost gone. Okay, I don't know how that shot didn't hit him. We do need to be careful. The only problem is we need to kill him before we get to the circle because the circle's out in the open field. And I'm pretty sure there's a hay bale right to his right that does give him cover. If I don't kill him in the next 18 seconds, he'll have cover and I won't. And I will lose. So I need to kill him before that. So I have to take these aim duels. I'm going to have to take them or I lose. All right, let's try to go for it. Did he not have a helmet? All right, guys, that was an amazing game. Guys, if you enjoyed, make sure to like and comment, add support to the channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.